Uh, hi DF crew and welcome back Rich exclamation point would love to get John's impression on the Quest 3 since he's the resident VR expert what do you think of the graphical updates shown for certain titles running on the new device seems like a potential leap forward thanks this one from Simplex will someone from the DF crew make the ultimate sacrifice and review the Meta Quest 3 definitely check out Red Matter 2 it's optimized by actual wizards Pro tip, get a replacement strap, either official elite strap or a replacement like Bobo VR. The default elastic strap is bad. Uh, so, John, uh, I'm not sure we got any plans to do a, a spe specific review of the Meta Quest 3 or stuff. However, you have now experienced both the Quest 2 and the Quest 3, and uh, I'd love to get your, yeah. your, your thoughts on both of At them. At some point, I kind of want to do like a VR headset showdown just talk about these because you know it's hard to showcase vr in a video so if you just talk about them all but i'll talk about what i've experienced so far so i have a quest 2 and i have borrowed a quest 3 temporarily and i've played with them both and my thoughts are that the the quest 3 makes some nice improvements uh it is less uh it it's less thick it's lighter uh, they use pancake lenses on there, so it actually the optics are slightly improved. I wouldn't say it made as big of a difference as I expected, but it's still it's it's definitely better. Uh, and it's just it does feel like a more premium, nicer headset, so I I mm. like that. But the Quest Two still it holds up surprisingly well. It's a good headset too. Uh, the big thing though with regards to graphics, so I tested a few games, and the big one that I I tested a Hubris which I also tested on PSVR 2, by the way. And this is a really cool game that combines like shooting, puzzles, swimming, all kinds of stuff into it. And this is an Unreal Engine based game. And right away on the Quest 3, the big thing I noticed is just there's a massive increase in clarity and just general sense of distant detail. Like it, the Quest 2, I would say, playing that game on the Quest 2, it looks pretty good and runs well, but it feels a bit like playing a PSVR 1 game. You know, you know the you know the look, Rich, right? Where it just yeah. it feels like the game pixels are just pretty chunky and big, and it just the whole thing feels a bit yeah. lo-fi, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still immersive. You go to Quest Three, and it suddenly starts to feel more like a dedicated VR platform. Like it feels more like I what, what I might have imagined experiencing in PC VR several years ago, right? right. Like all this now feels more like a PC VR. Head, headset experience except for it's all done within the soc built into the unit so that is kind of a revelation that's kind of the sense i've gotten from everything i've looked at so far between them is just the resolution tends to be higher uh asset quality textures especially seem better i notice things like in some games there's more grass you know more distant lod stuff happening it just feels richer and filled out and more closer to what you'd expect from a higher end VR experience. And I would describe it as like this halfway house between the quest two and like a PSVR two experience at this point, maybe closer to Ooh. PSVR two, not quite that level. Mind you, I would say, although there's a lot of PSVR two stuff that's derived from quest. So you kind of mm. feel that uh, we're not at the point though, where we're seeing like half-life Alex level fidelity on one of these portable headsets. I suspect that's still not really feasible. I mean, I actually don't yeah. know how far they could push the Quest 3 hardware, but that's that seems like a gigantic ask. It won't happen, obviously, but I, I don't know about that. Uh, I will say, though, both of them are really interesting when used with virtual desktop for your PC. Uh, I actually tried this down in my living room right next to my router. So my PC's wired. I stood next to the router and I could connect to the PC via virtual desktop and use both headsets on the PC wirelessly, which is a revelation, I must say, being able to use these things. Suddenly, have, you know, I'm down in the living room. There's no wires connected. You can spin all over and play in like Half-Life Alex. that way. feels freaking great. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very, very cool. And obviously, the optics improve screen and all that kind of stuff on the Quest 3 helps make that experience feel it feels like you're playing a, a high-end vr pc experience which you are but you're not you know connected by wires which is awesome and neither of them are OLED, right? no they're not it's still lcd and that actually that's the biggest thing so this is seen some interesting things so the psvr 2's oleds do really nice deep black and it does get pretty bright and it's pretty intense but then I'm also testing the Pimax Crystal, which is like the opposite of these because it's so freaking heavy. It's a ridiculous headset. 
uh, I don't even, I don't find it very comfortable, but holy heck, like the, I, I mentioned this last week, I think, but just the clarity of the screen that uses LCD, but it uses really good quality local dimming and it's super bright, super intense. And it goes up to 120 Hertz. Uh, and just like the clarity of that is unreal. And the FOV is unreal. It's, it's, it's like a preview of like where I would like VR to keep moving to. Like, obviously you still need like to be connected to a PC to make this work uh at that fidelity i would say but man it's it's very promising and yeah the quest 2 experience quest 3 experience it's not there yet i would say but uh i li- i like the quest i i do like the quest a lot i actually another okay. game i played this week was the seventh guest it got a vr oh, wow. release and it's a it's a new game that's been rebuilt to sort of retell the story of the seventh guest and I got a bit emotional when you first walk into that mansion, that that initial hallway with the staircase, and it's like you're there being able to look and walk around in 3D. Uh, I it would have been like a dream. I could never even have imagined back in like the early 90s when I first played that on my PC. So, uh, and they actually integrate FMV into the 3D models as well. Kind of. It looks like. I need to better experiment, but the characters look like filmed actors, which they are. But when you when you move around, it's like a three D object. So I think they've like somehow mapped FMV stuff onto these models in a weird way to make it look like you're watching video, uh, which Crazy. is really compelling and cool. And it works in the okay. Quest too. Even it looks awesome. So, well, this is my final question for you, John, because prior to this hands on and actually spending time with it, you weren't actually besotted with the concept of the quest. No, I wasn't. And part of it was just, it just seemed underpowered. The first demo I saw wasn't great. And then I only had used a quest, a friend's quest with the included head strap, which I freaking hated. It's very uncomfortable. (laughs) Uh, I got the pro strap for this quest. And that basically, that's the game changer. It basically behaves more like a PSVR or, you know, any of those other headsets. We get the little knob in the back and it sits more comfortably on your head. Once I switched to that and got a lens insert so I don't have to wear my glasses, it's fantastic. So no complaints there. Okay. Interesting. Good stuff. Uh, I'd be really interested to see your VR headset face off, particularly if you can get the Pimax in. There. Uh, no, I want I want to get the Pimax in there because the Pimax actually, what I think the Pimax is probably best suited for. It's less the room scale VR, which it can do, and it's cool, but it's more for the hardcore PC guys that want to do Sims, right? Whether it's racing, spaceship based games, anything with a lot of granular detail. Like when you look at like a cockpit in VR inside the Pimax crystal it's so freaking clear that you just, it feels like you can reach out and touch the buttons. There is no screen door effect anymore. It's just gone. It just looks like super ultra high res, normal PC graphics, but in 3d VR with a bigger, larger FOV, uh, it feels awesome in those kind of cockpit Mm. games. So, but I, I think again, it's a, so you kind of have to know what kind of VR gamer you are. And yeah, I would like to break down in more detail what makes each headset special, why they're all different, you know, because I think they all have different use cases. And uh, the Pimax is weird, though, because it also has its own SOC built in and apparently is going to have its own store and wireless stuff as well. And I'm curious to see what wow. its SOC actually can do. I guess we'll find out soon enough. That feature is not activated yet. So I don't know. The VR headset space is wild right now there's 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 still stuff happening okay that's enough 